In 1526, Babur, a Timurid descendant of Timur and Genghis Khan from the Fergana Valley, modern-day Uzbekistan, was ousted from his ancestral domain in Central Asia. Babur turned to India and crossed the Khyber Pass. From his base in Afghanistan, he was able to secure control of Punjab, and in 1526 he decisively defeated the forces of the Delhi Sultan Ibrahim Lodi at the First Battle of Panipat. The next year, he defeated the Rajput Confederacy under Rana Sangar of Mewar, and in 1529 defeated the remnants of the Delhi Sultanates. At his death in 1530 the Mughal Empire encompassed almost all of northern India. Babur's son Humayun, reigned 1530-40 and 1555-56, had lost territory to Sher Shah Suri. Suris and Hemu ruled the area from 1540 to 1556. Akbar, reigned 1556-1605, defeated the Hindu king Hemu, also known as Hemchandra Vikramaditya, the then ruler of Delhi, at the Second Battle of Panipat, 1556, and re-established Mughal rule. Akbar's son Jahangir had furthered the size of the Mughal Empire through conquest, yet left much of the state bankrupt as a result. Jahangir's son Shah Jahan, reigned 1628-1658, was known for his monuments, including the Taj Mahal. Shah Jahan's son Aurangzeb was especially known for his religious intolerance and was known for his destruction of schools and temples which he saw as un-Islamic. In addition to the murder of a Sikh guru, Aurangzeb had instilled heavy taxes on Hindus and Sikhs that had later led to an economic depression. During the reign of Muhammad Shah, 1719-48, the empire began to decline, accelerated by warfare and rivalries, and after the death of Muhammad Shah in 1748, the Marathas attacked and ruled almost all of northern India. Mughal rule was reduced to only a small area around Delhi, which passed under Maratha 1785, and the British 1803, control. The last Mughal, Bahadur Shah II, reigned 1837-57, was exiled to Burma by the British.